called New Vegas Meme Build. I'm hoping I can upload more videos like this, but we'll have to see how that goes. So today I'm thinking about doing... We all know who this person is. Think about doing a Doug Dimmadum build. I'm just Doug Dimmadum. Oh, when you think about Doug Dimmadum, about a big man with a ginormous hat in a white suit. And he says that Doug Dimmadum, or the Dimmadum's Doug Dimmadum. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Except it'll be nothing like that. Because there's no big top hat bots I can find. I'll probably find one eventually, but so far, nobody's created one. So, I wanna see. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. 
Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Just relax a second. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name is Doug Dima. My name is Doug Dima. Doug Dima. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Come on, I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome Dimitri. to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Here comes the hard part. I gotta make a convincing Doug Dimitri. Do?
that's making you his, uh, would it be his neck? Does it seem like, did it, though? He may just always have that little flat flat. I'm going, oh shoot, I forgot I have the mustache. No. Okay, that, that is a good substitute, let me see. Most of it right anyway. Oh, Stuff I, that mattered. I okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. I just noticed that. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. I don't want to take it slow. I want to take it fast. The man 
myself is here. We're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. You'll learn tester. right quick if you get back all your faculties. So strength. I think you'd be pretty strong if you thought about it. Perception. He's still good though. And do he needs help. I'm gonna have to go back and get some stuff. Charisma. First one, conflict. I, really I ain't given to relying on others for support. I strongly disagree. I'm always fixing to be the same. I'm slow. I, I charge in to deal. Yeah. Almost done here. Okay. That looks like a space age technology, yeah. La a bearded. I don't have nothing to go. That's what I was expecting. Okay, so yeah, it did pretty much what me expecting what I was thinking of it. It's what I was expecting to guns. Pretty good. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Mom, I got shot in the head again. Honey, this has happened to everybody. You're okay. You'll live. I don't know, I, I don't know about your intelligence or something. You'll live. I've got shot in the head two times. It's gonna be your first time. I I always take well in my strength. I have it. Yeah, that's
guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come... But try not to get killed anymore. Uh, we're not going hardcore, I'm sorry, folks. This isn't a hardcore playthrough of Dead Dimidum. It's, it's just not gonna work. It's Dead Dimidum. Alright, so there are... There are some weapons and stuff I do have. Blah, da, 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 da. Huh. You know, I handle this. Ah, here's the armor. Armor both the jump seat and the floor hat. You're already getting close to it. Partner, might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. All right. How did you end up in Goodsbergs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Excuse me. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Huh. Odd. Anyway, 
It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Bye. Happy trails! Thanks, Victor. What can Easy Pete do for you? Is there anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Right. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Alright. Why people call you Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You were a prospector like Dayton for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never liked the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Alright. Did you ever find anything good with a prospector? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Oh, that's just sad. Uh, what's wrong with NCR? Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. That is the plus, the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. Seems a like couple Caesar. of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Why is this? What, what is so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. The territory. What do you use big corners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. So you're telling me the big corners are lazy, and they're only good, they're like cows, basically. So big corners have replaced the Brahmin as cows. Very interesting. Do you know anything about Victor? He's a Pete. Please tell me you do. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Seems legit. Bye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Right, thanks, Easy Pete. Uh, you 
If I go in the saloon, I should probably go get some weapons from what Easy Peach just told me. Howdy. Talk to. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that off. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Makes sense. Tell me about... anything about the people attacking. We're not going to ask him that stuff because that's basically just a tutorial. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Alright, show me what you have for sale. Can do. I got some armor I don't need. Of course, only that would be two caps. I'm gonna have a monocular, machete, grenade rifle, shotgun, all the throwing spears. The weathered pistol is something to keep. That's that's like one of those little collectibles. I will be keeping the collectibles. Another satisfied customer. Oh, anything else you can tell me about the great cogs? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Alright. Uh, have you ever been in New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, can you tell me more about Mr. House? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino. Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? Yeah, I'd say so. All right, bye, chat. Take it easy now. Thanks. Uh, before we leave this building, like he's a Pete said, carry a weapon with you. I can't use the Smith & Wesson model. I can't monitor using the refurbishment. I can use the 10mm. No, I should be using the weather. This is nice. Oh, I do have a gun mod for, like, sights and stuff. See if I load. It's like it's a really nice. Mode. Hey, Jeremy. Hello.
Cheyenne, stay. Dr. Maple said she could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need to meet me outside. Alright, thanks. I'll just head this way. Sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yep. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Alright. Let's see, Blue Chip. That's the right idea. Look up. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't rec. Tell you what. Yeah, man. Follow. Excuse me. Uh, let me just uh, add some mods to the barmaid rifle. Gotta make it silenced. Standard mag. And silencer. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Bunch of little monsters. Let's see if we can get a little. Okay. Uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna save. This isn't because I'm scared I'm gonna get hurt. This is just because if I do get hurt, I don't want to lose all my data and stuff. Casual fun. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Hide me, tumbleweed. Uh, I think this one. Oh, that's it. I think we did it. See? You're getting the hang of. There's two more wells that still need clearing. Sure, I'll come with you. Should come with me. like you done. I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Wait, wait, I, I don't want the water, no. Uh, whatever, lady. I didn't want the water you had, but okay. Hey. You're also using the water, right? Now that was some good work. Here's a little 
One more thing I thought I might teach you about. I think I got it. Okay. I'm heading back. Hey, do me a f She'd be... Done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Okay. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Hey, I did nothing to you. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just chill? Kill Cobb and be done with it. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which, personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Well, see, powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Of course it isn't. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Never mind, I want to talk about some What happens if I... If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Ooh. What if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. So they, Good Springs, would hate me. Track down the people who attacked me, you know anything? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Which it could be, for all I know. All right. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east, take Highway 93 up. Okay. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I 
I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Alright, well, this is where I'm... Oh, no. Alright, let's talk about something else. Any interesting going on the rest of the way? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Be careful. It's going over there, isn't it? Oh, Rango. Ringo. Not Rango. Ringo. That's close enough. Who are you? Sorry about that. We got off to... Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no... I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't... All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the crimson... I won't let you stick your neck out for free. I can't pay you back now, but I'll make sure the crimson... We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also... Sticking around goods. I'm gonna help Ringo take on the power gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Okay, cool. That was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince... Right. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamites. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. All right. We're checking one to give us his I don't fight. think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Sure can. NCR patrols do a good... Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wild. Okay. Alright, we'll be waiting here. Alright, let's go convince Trudy. Let's see if I got Hello? my speech skill will come in. So you're Maybe. planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. Hi. Be careful out there.
Where's CCP? Oh no, where's CCP? No! He's gone! No! Where is he? Chad? Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. I never... Right. Okay. Right. I gotta get my, uh, speech up. You looking to buy some my supplies? Partner. I gotta think about what skills of Rick are. Thanks. All right, let me go get some scotch. Take it easy now. Feeling thirsty? You looking to buy some supplies? I should. There I go. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Take it easy now. Welcome back. I have. Uh, town is going to be attacked by Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. 
Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. You take care now. Raise my perception a little bit more. Hey, Trudy, you got something? Perception. Feeling thirsty? Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Opportunities where I just can't have. They one of those this. This. It's like opportunities where I just can't have easy Pete, and it makes me really upset. But you also gotta deal with it. But then now I'm upset. Stuff like that. We all have to. We all have something that happens and it's like. Ringo, everybody's gonna see you from a mile So away. what's going on? Well, I get. And I see while I was gone, you lost all your hair and you shaved your head. I was only gone for ten minutes. How? How the hell did you do that? Come on. How just you shave your hair so quickly? Look, he shaved his head. How did you do it? How the hell did you do it? Let's do this. All right. Time to look alive. The powder gang. How many are there? At least six. I'll be Now remember, Ringo, you shaved your head and you got that arrow there. You are a big target for the powder gangers. Hello? Ringo. I think we killed him. 
that's where you power anger. I think we did it. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Alright. So whatever you want, Gringo. Just remember, you're a big high priority target right now. And I did. The Cowboy Desperado had that us talking about the Doomadoon wear. Just, just look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Alright, well, I have completed Ghost Town Gunfight. I guess we are going to go. They expect to complete it so quickly, but we completed it. And now we shall finish the tutorial. come by before the battle of Hoover Dam if I ever get this far. Bye.